everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me. The monkeys in the jungle say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The monkeys in the jungle say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The monkeys in the jungle say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me. Oh, let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me. The bears in the woods say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Rawr, rawr, rawr. The bears in the woods say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Rawr, rawr, rawr. The bears in the woods say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Thank you, Lord, for making me. Oh, let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me. Chomp, 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 chomp. The gators in the swamp say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Chomp, chomp, chomp. The gators in the swamp say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Chomp, chomp, chomp. The gators in the swamp say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Thank you, Lord, for making me. Oh, let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me. Levi, isn't this nice? This is the life, sitting out in the sun, enjoying. Oh, it is so bright, though. Do you think your glasses are big enough? I needed these big glasses. It's so bright out here. Summertime, you gotta wear sunglasses, Miss Ashley. That's true. Hi, friends. Levi and Miss Ashley, we are just hanging out sitting in the sunshine, enjoying the rays, getting ready for summer. And you know what? We had to put on our sunglasses. It is so bright out here, isn't it, Levi? It sure is. We're going to hear in our Bible story today about a really, really bright light. We're going to hear about a man named Paul and when Paul met Jesus. And it was so bright, it blinded Paul, and he couldn't see. Paul should have worn sunglasses. Uh-oh. That's right. Paul should have worn his sunglasses. Here, Levi, I'll share. You can wear mine. Those fit you much better. Hey, friends, let's worship Jesus, and then we'll hear that Bible story. God, you are my God, you are my God, I'll follow you. God, you are my God, you are my God, I'll follow you. I'll get quiet and read your word, read your word. 
verse, but can you believe we're almost to a new month? Yes, this is the last week in April, so this is our last week to say our April verse together. I'm going to say it with you, and then I want you to try to say it without much help from Miss Ashley. Okay, let's point to Jesus. I will come again. And take you to myself. That where I am, you may be also. John fourteen three. Oh, that was great! I think you're ready. I'm not going to say all the words, so you try it with me, okay? I will come and take you to that where you may be. John 14. Yes, you got it. Oh, boys and girls, Miss Ashley, so, so proud of you. Now, Let's open up our Bible to today's story and hear about that blinding light when Paul met Jesus. Okay, friends, Miss Ashley has out her Bibles and I'm open to the book of Acts. Now, we're going to hear about a man named Paul. Paul wasn't always his name. At first, it was Saul, but Saul did bad things, and he didn't love and trust Jesus. In fact, all the people that loved Jesus, Paul tried to get them and take them away and lock them up in jail. So Saul did bad things, but when he met Jesus, he changed. So he even changed his name to Paul to show that he was changed. He was a new person now that he knew Jesus. For today's story, we'll just call him Paul because Paul went on to do great things for Jesus. But let's hear about when they met each other. Yeah, one day Paul, he was walking down the road. Paul was leaving the big city of Jerusalem. And he was going to a place called Damascus. Paul was going to go and catch all the people who believed in Jesus and bring them back to Jerusalem and lock them up in jail. That wasn't nice. But all of a sudden, light started flashing all around Paul and his friends that were walking with him. And the light was so bright that Paul fell to the ground. Oh, it was blinding Paul. But there was Jesus. Paul could see Jesus. And Jesus said to Paul, Paul, why 
are you hurting me? Why are you going against me? And Jesus said to him, I'm the one that you're hurting. Now get up and go into the city and wait there and do what you are told. Well, Paul tried to get up, but Paul couldn't see anymore. He couldn't see. The light was so bright that it blinded his eyes. And so Paul's friends had to help him get up and help him to walk all the way to the city of Damascus. Paul went into a house and for three days, Paul prayed to Jesus. He had seen him with his eyes and then that light made him blind. But now Paul knew Jesus. Jesus was changing his heart and opening his heart to see Jesus. Paul prayed and Jesus showed him that a man named Ananias would come touch his eyes and make them all better. So Jesus went in a dream to the man named Ananias. And Jesus told Ananias to get up and go to Paul. He said, go to the house on Straight Street and ask for Paul. Ask for Paul of Tarsus and cover his eyes with your hands and heal him. Well, Ananias, he didn't want to go at first because Paul had tried to hurt people that believed in Jesus. He tried to take them away and lock them up. But Jesus told him to go, so Ananias did. He went to the house on Straight Street, and there he found Paul. And Ananias covered his eyes with his hands, and all of a sudden, something fell off of his eyes. It looked like scales that you would see on a fish. Scales came off of his eyes, and now Paul could see. Jesus made his eyes all better, and Jesus made his heart better, too. Now Paul knew Jesus. Wow, what about that story, Levi? If only Paul had been wearing sunglasses. But they didn't have sunglasses back then. No. Even though the light was so bright when Paul met Jesus, and it blinded him so he couldn't see. Jesus was there. Jesus helped him. Jesus helped open Paul's eyes. And Jesus changed Paul's heart. That's right. Jesus opened up Paul's heart so that he could see and know Jesus inside. And have the Holy Spirit of Jesus live in him. That would help Paul to go and tell people everywhere about Jesus. Over the next few weeks, we're going to hear more about Paul, okay? And hear how Paul did a good job teaching people about Jesus. Let's pray. Let's thank Jesus that he helped open Paul's eyes so he could see again. And that Jesus changed Paul's heart. So Paul could be his helper. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you that you helped Paul to get better. You opened his eyes and you changed his heart. And you helped him to know you and see you. And then your Holy Spirit came to help him teach other people about you. Help us to be helpers for you too. We thank you and love you. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, Miss Ashley and Levi, hope you have a great week. Remember to keep your sunglasses on if you're outside in the hot summer. Yeah, and keep remembering that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.